Hello, and welcome to the February 2022 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. There is only one planet left in the evening sky. On the second, the two-day-old waxing crescent moon is about four degrees from Jupiter. Jupiter will not be visible in the evening for much longer. It will disappear from the evening sky after the 20th, when it becomes lost in the sun's glare. This is the last time to see Jupiter and the moon in the evening sky for a while. With the absence of bright planets in the evening sky after the 20th, we turn our attention to the constellations of the winter sky. Looking south, Orion the Hunter and Taurus the Bull are just west of south, while Canis Manger, the Great Dog, and Gemini the Twins reach their highest position in the sky around 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time mid-month. Orion is the most recognizable constellation. Its bright stars are visible even under bright city lights. This picture was taken from Griffith Observatory. Orion consists of three stars in a row, marking the hunter's belt. The belt is surrounded by four bright stars. The reddish star Beeljuice and Bellatrix are above the belt stars, and Seif and Rigel are below the belt. Drawing a line downwards from the belt, you'll find Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, in the constellation Canis Major, the Great Dog. Extending a line from Bellatrix to Beeljuice, you'll find the star Procyon in the constellation Canis Minor, the Lesser Dog. The Great Orion Nebula, or M42, is just below the belt. The nebula can be seen easily through a pair of binoculars or a small telescope. The nebula is incredibly beautiful through larger telescopes with time exposure photography. This image was taken by our telescope demonstrator, Anthony Perkett. Looking south in the early morning sky, the spring constellations Leo the Lion and Virgo the Maiden are to the southwest. Low above the southeast horizon are the early summer constellations Scorpius the Scorpion and Sagittarius the Archer. Close to Sagittarius, within this circle, are two planets. We'll enlarge this portion of the sky to see them. The brilliant planet Venus, having spent several months in the evening sky last year, is now a morning planet low above the southeast horizon. The red planet Mars is located four degrees below and to the right of Venus. On the 27th, the 26-day-old waning crescent moon joins Venus and Mars in the pre-dawn sky. Much harder to spot is the elusive planet Mercury. It's located very low above the east-southeast horizon, about an hour before sunrise. Our moon phases this month. First quarter is on the 8th, full moon is on the 16th, and last quarter is on the 23rd. And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio.